question. Well, in the context of, of a crisis, austerity has really been about fiscal balance and about governments doing things to limit uh, their spending, maybe also increase their tax revenue, but really with the aim of reducing uh, the role or the size of budget deficits. Well, I think in general, the attitude we've seen is that countries like Greece that have been hit hard by the crisis have thought that austerity is not a good idea because as they think about it, um, in the midst of a crisis, you want the government to do more to stimulate the economy and not less. Um, whereas countries like Germany have thought about the need for fiscal discipline and the need to sort of compensate for past budget deficits by really focusing on, um, on limiting what the government is doing. So you have this nice debate about the extent to which the government is kind of part of the problem or part of the solution. You can imagine there are a whole range of things that governments do in general, right? So you could imagine something like um, raising the age of retirement, uh, which would mean that folks would no longer be receiving public pensions at the age of 55 or 60, but instead at the age of 65. Um, or um, you might imagine sort of getting rid of some tax breaks that were in place before as a means of increasing revenue. Um, or cutting uh, government sort of social spending in things like unemployment or retraining for workers. So any of those things should lead to a change in the government's fiscal accounts. Well, I think it, in, in general, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're facing this issue of um, the country's attitudes toward um, trade and financial openness um, and the extent to which countries want to continue on with the process of economic integration. So we see this with respect to Brexit. Uh, but I think we also see this with respect to the U.S. Um, and the presidential uh, debate around NAFTA and the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Um, and I think all of those are about um, government leaders but also citizens questioning the benefits of economic globalization.